Alrighty guys and welcome back. We're currently playing on Preschool Bad Hams 2. Alright, now this is a survivor version of this map based on if you are unaware uh, there are different tiers um, on this map. There's tier 1 all the way through to 4, like different versions of where different things are going to spawn. That being said, none of the other maps in Dead by Daylight, like Father's Chapel, Father's Chapel version 2, they, they do exist, but the title doesn't tell you, unlike this one does. I just learnt this man has a very, very fast chainsaw. Watch for the release. Holy crap. Okay, so we know this man's running Tuning Guide Thompson Mix. That shit was almost instant. There's no pallet hit. There is a pallet hit. Fuck. I'm gonna try and eat, not eat shit. Alright, now he double stepped the window, so that's gonna give me good time to get distance, yeah? I am leaving scratches on the side of this, but it doesn't matter. He is very fast with that saw, yeah? I have to be very, very careful here. He hit the wall, that is a dream come true. I've at least got some distance between the two of us. I'd be very mindful that he is definitely running tuning Thompson. The only other option would be. Well, there you go. He's got Thanophobia as well, so I don't know why I'd have Than. He's probably looking at Ruin also, so we're looking at Ruin, Than, Barbecue, and maybe Pop. I think this man is going to not have Enduring based on how fast his chainsaw is. Gonna have to be very, very careful, yeah? I don't know where my teammates are. I don't have an endgame build on this new lady, as you can see. Gonna try and get as much pressure out into the Jenny as possible. Killer did not play any offerings. He ate that pallet so fast, he's obviously chasing somebody there. Okay, there you go. He got a really good flick around the corner and hit on my teammate. He's going to be taking a double hook into the street. I'm going to have to look down and be careful of scratch marks here, yeah? He turned around. I don't know if he saw me. I knew I wouldn't be able to make it straight across. You physically saw that. That sucks. I have to take it back here. He can go for an easy proxy camp on this and get a double guaranteed. I need my teammate to come in and make an incredible play. Because I'm making a very, very bad play by the direction I'm running in. Alright, conveniently, he butchered how fast his chainsaw is. One save, two save, he's gonna get one out for it. I gave him no pallets, he didn't get any Pop Goes a Weasel over here. He's got Thanophobia on two people. I did save the pallet, which is important because my teammate just went for it, and he ate it straight away. You can just see, this is a very devastating thing to have on the Billy. It works with any build. These are some of the strongest add-ons in the game, let alone just keeping in mind that people do refer to this as an instant saw. It used to be marginally faster when people had Tinkerer before it got a rework. However, this is still one of the deadliest things you can encounter as, as a Billy. So he does have Ruin as well. I'm very lucky he didn't come over here. I was in deep trouble if he did. Because the god has already been used. He's in Chase of Uncharted. One generator done. Going to be able to get the save, hopefully. Yeah, he stuffed his spin up there. He's going to go for an M1, most likely, rather than a saw. It's the easiest option. The target is already injured. I wouldn't want to be healed this game. I want to be able to dead hard based on how many pallets are going down. It's been over a minute, so he's not going to be able to DS here either. And he left him down for it, too. going to have to go upstairs. Oof. Got to go around the back end. Got to be mindful of my scratch marks this time. Turn up my headset, listen for the heartbeat. Alright, he's dipped across the board. No, he has not. Do I have anything? Alright, he's got pressure on multiple targets. He's looking for a slug for his um, stability. While he eats through pallets and kicks gens. I could work on that other gen, but getting him up and saving a hook is more important. If the killer comes back, I'll trade a hook um, for this guy to get away. Gotta go work on this straight away, man. There's no pallets over here. There's nothing to help me stay above water if the killer comes to the left. I'm, I'm literally going to go down. Instead of a 2.5 second chance... It's not 2.5 because le Leatherfaces is 2.5. Instead of like the default 2 second saw, this man's got one coming out. So freaking fast. I do have the pallet there though. Gonna go right through and turn left. That way he can't enter chase just yet. I saw he didn't come, but I need to be careful here, yeah? He went underneath, I think. Underneath and checked the locker. I left scratches in a straight line. He tried to hide his light, I think that was his issue. 
Probably going to go back to those two gens based on how close they are to being done. I had a powerful loop and he saw it and he just left. That makes me think he hasn't eaten any of the pallets here. So I think working on this Jenny would be a pretty good idea. I want to know for science if this pallet's up. Baby. You should run out the pallet. Now's your only play. Yeah, I think you should camp the pallet, darling. Very rarely is camping the pallet the right call, but I think that kind of was. We got some good pressure. We can see where he is on uh, alert, which is nice. He's going to see multiple injured targets. Let's see what he does. He ran a straight line. You need to go that way, Uncharted. Yep, through, my man. Through, 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 through. Go, 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 go. All right, got the Jenny in the corner of the map. I'm a bit in the open. He flicked out and saw me, so I'm going to go right around. Now, I'm beating this killer by looping him outside of Chase. That is the strongest way to outplay him, yeah? So still looping, but with an additional distance. Now, we do need to keep the generators on platforms, such as downstairs, to the end of the game. Using this is a bit silly, or doing this. However... Man still does have Ruin, and I've got a lot of the toolbox left, and I want to pump it out. I do have a Commodious, which is 15% faster generator work, plus a Socket Swivel, making it 20%. So I'm going to get this generator done in about 16 seconds quicker than normal, because 80 seconds to do a Jenny, therefore 10% of 80 is 8. So I'm going to get it done in 16 seconds if I land every grade against Ruin. 16 seconds faster than 80, that is. So we're looking at still 64 seconds to do the generator if I'm using the toolbox the entire time with no other penalties. However, he does have Thanatophobia. Thanatophobia penalty is 4% for 8, therefore taking an 8% penalty. 8% of 10 is... I mean, 8% of... If 10% is 8, you, you know, you're looking at 0.8 of a second off times 2. So you're looking at about... He's going to hurt me a couple of extra seconds, maybe seven seconds or something. Not not too dramatic. He knows where I am now that I missed that skill check. For the killer to be running an instant saw with these add-ons and get this map and still have his ruin, he's in a very, very good spot. Where does he go? I go the opposite way. Doesn't have pop. Yeah, I had a feeling he'd try and bait it. That's why I didn't run in for it. Got to take a full big lap and then drop. It's the smartest play I can do. That's going to slow him down, thank God. That is a fast chainsaw, man. And he's coming back. Yes, he is. He needs to come back now. He needs to. So he should be popping back around any second. And I'm going to come up and through the right straight away. I shouldn't have missed that. I shouldn't have missed that. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna have to be very, very careful right now. He'll come back in for a pop kick, but he doesn't have pops. So he'll come back in knowing that I was originally down here. This is risky. If I can land every grade, I'll, I'll commit, but I don't want to. I want to leave now. There's a Dren. I'll let my teammate go first. Going to be looking at saving the toolbox before the teammate, yeah? I want to have the door open already. I know that Billy has an instant saw, and I don't really want to tango with that. This game, if I'm going to tell you the truth. I'd rather prolong the box and get it into another round. If he was, you know, if I had borrowed time, DS, or something that I could actually get out with, then yeah, I'd, um, I'd definitely make a play. But I do not see myself being able to save this man. I see myself 99 in the door, and if anyone else goes down, I'm probably not going to come in. I think the smartest play is to literally just leave. I see Uncharted's in chase. I am too far away to be able to make it to him in time before he dies, looking at how much time's left on the timer by looking in the bottom left-hand corner. You can generally tell how much time is left based on it takes 60 seconds to hit struggle, then 60 seconds from struggle to die. So that guy is going to be eliminated, and when he is, the door is now open. Okay, so now my teammate needs to somehow make it over here. I'm going to kind of wave at Uncharted. I want him to come over. I want to leave as soon as possible. I, I did just prestige my uh, UE, as you can see, by the perks. And I kind of want to use the toolbox to um, farm blood points rather than play play another char uh, character. We don't really use items when we hit prestige 2 or prestige well prestige 3. Alright, I'm probably going to leave off this. I do have Kindred in my name, even though I'm not running Kindred. But we'll see. Anyways, I couldn't really make too many good plays to my team that game. We learned that the Billy had a very fast saw, and because of that, I tried to avoid him, stay away, and just do gens. I threw no pallets that entire game, I don't think. 
and we managed to just keep spacing. We looped him outside of Chase. We never waited for him on a corner unless we had enough distance to be able to make a jungle gym on him. We learned he had a very fast saw. So let's have a little bit of a look at what he has. He has Thompson Mix and Tuning Guide with Bamboozled, Ruin, Thanatophobia, and Barbecue. Very devastating, very powerful build, but we got really, uh, really lucky that game that we were all working on different generators because he got a really good Ruin spawn, and we just powered through it. But anyways, guys, if you're watching this one over at YouTube, GG, well played, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the fog. If you want to learn more about Killer or Survivor, don't hesitate to come in and check over the live streams that happen here on Twitch five days a week. It'll be a pleasure to see you over here with some of the other amazing, beautiful people. So, guys... Much love, and I'll see you in the fog. Thank you.